The general lady from Hawaii first. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, since being made a member of this committee, uh, I have not spent as much time on a particular issue as I have on this one. Uh, a lot of it is because of the fact that, like the gentleman from American Samoa, uh, we in Hawaii are very concerned about Native rights. And this bill, of course, under Section 12, speaks to the issues of the Katovic Inupiat Corporation as well as the Alaska, the Arctic Slope Regional Corporation of the Native Alaskans. I believe that um, these two organizations in particular should have the full rights and privileges that I believe when the Chandler Lake Agreement was struck that they were quote unquote somewhat deprived of because of the fact that it required congressional approval before they could actually get to their subsurface rights by the drilling. However, one of the considerations that I have, and I agree with the previous speaker, that what, what is being confused here is that when you're looking at the coastal plain, it is different from what people imagine Anwar to be. That the Anwar that most people think about is the Anwar of the high mountains and the, really the, what is considered probably the wildlife provisions and not the coastal plains. However, having said that, I do believe that I would support fully the rights of the Native Alaskans, the Katovic, the Katovic people, as well as the Arctic Regional Sur uh, Corporation. However, to open all of the coastal plains is something that I'm having the most difficulty with because I believe that the Native Alaskan people should have their first rights uh, in the area. And for that reason, I just wanted to voice that though I fully support Section 12, and I fully support once Section 12 is given their rights to transmit whatever they may find uh, to the pipeline itself. I have problems with the whole 1.5 million acres of the coastal plain, which is the provision that addresses in this particular measure of 3407. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair.